Day 14. This is Redhead Goes Healthy. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am on a 21 day reset challenge where I am focusing on my mind, body, and soul. If you're interested in learning more about that, check out the video above that I made or just take a look at the daily goals that I have listed below. We have made it two weeks. This is day 14. I am so excited that I've made it all the way to day 14. That means there's just one more week left on this challenge. I have been just blown away at how much better I have been feeling doing something that focuses on this holistic aspect of who we are and who I am, rather than it being just like a straight up keto challenge or a calorie cut challenge. I really have tried to craft this challenge in a way that, that just makes sense for me psychologically and allows me to think about this as doing good things for myself rather than cutting bad things out. And I have honestly just like really appreciated the people that have been watching. I really don't think I would have made it this far without you guys, so I so appreciate that. I wanna jump right into my weigh-in results. I said that I would weigh in once every week, so today's day 14, might as well just do it, get it out of the way. Um, I do want to emphasize that I'm trying very hard not to be defined by the number on the scale and be proud of myself for the work that I've been putting in to bettering myself holistically. But that being said, I lost some weight, so here's the results. That's almost two more pounds. Like, two more pounds. I'm... Oh man, I know I'm not supposed to get super excited about that, but I feel so happy with that because that means in total, since I started this challenge like 14 days ago, I have lost four pounds. I, I'm just thrilled because I'm eating potatoes and I'm losing weight and I'm just, oh my gosh, you guys, I'm just so happy with that. So intermittent fasting that is my jam that's what i'm going to keep doing i think forever i love it it's it's not that hard it it just has hard moments but then you push past those hard moments and it does restrict the amount of time that you eat and that for me is like a game changer so i'm really really excited about that we'll see what happens next week you know it could go up and down who knows i might maintain i only expect to lose three pounds on this challenge so the fact that i've lost four pounds so far after just 14 days i'm i'm feeling good i'm feeling good and because i'm working really hard i truly am working really really hard so let's get right into my mind. Um, we are continuing with Martha Beck's The Way of Integrity. All right, we're almost out of Dante's Inferno, which is exciting. That means that we're on our way toward healing and growth. It's gonna be painful. Today's reading, I just wanna do a trigger warning. It, it gets really heavy. And if you are someone that is suffering from any kind of trauma from childhood, it's really important that you seek professional help. And, and even she says that in these 10 pages. So I do kind of wanna to preface today's reading with that. It, it can get a little intense. So we talked yesterday about the lies that we tell ourselves, that we might be telling other people. Today, it's all about, well, what happens when you finally start accessing your truth? She warns us not to go public with the truth, like right away. Um, that's a mistake that she makes or that she made in her past that she goes into some detail. So if you get the book, you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. But she says that a lot of people are gonna be kind of uncomfortable with this new version of you. And if you do it too quickly, you might kind of sever relationships. Now, I think that if somebody is not gonna be in your life because you're 
you know, acting your true self, then maybe they're not supposed to be in your life, but you know, that that's, that's beside the point. So while we have been lying to ourselves and to others, the heavy stuff comes into play when she says that, well, we've all lied to at least one child in our life, our inner child, our younger selves. It's important to recognize that a lot of us had no choice in doing that. She goes into, there's some examples of what this might have looked like for, for you or for me. You know, hugging a creepy uncle because like, you know, he came over and, and he's like, give me a hug and you hugged him. Like you were betraying, you know, your true self in that moment. Laughing at others when they picked on you just to kind of like fit in or maybe laughing and making fun of other people because you didn't want to get picked on yourself. You were betraying your um, own inner, inner child and your authentic self. But the most important part of all this is that a lot of us might be blaming our younger selves for the kinds of people they were or who we are. We have to stop doing that. We have to stop blaming our younger selves. A lot of us, like I said, just didn't really have a choice in the matter. But there's one single lie that is at the root of all the lies that we've ever told our younger selves. I am not loved. That's, that's the heavy stuff here. Once we fully recognize that, we're finally on the path toward recovery and healing and discovering the truth. And the truth is that you are infinitely worthy. You will always be enough. You are loved and you are love. For Martha Beck, this experience came when she was on the operating table and she experienced this bright light. Now, I don't think that we should go around expecting to experience uh, some bright light that's gonna make us feel loved. But I do think that if we're open to it, we will be able to experience those moments of self-love where we're actually feeling connected to the world, to ourselves, and accepting the truth that we are loved. But it's a very difficult battle. I, I don't wanna sugarcoat that. So we're done with Inferno, and tomorrow we're finally going to Purgatory. Sounds great. Now let's talk about the body, my body. Whew, okay, so once a week, I, I think I've said this before, but I wanna challenge myself and do a very long Peloton bike ride. Last week I did 60 minutes, this week, check it out. I feel good though, honestly. Like I feel, I feel amazing. I can't put into words. Like I, I just feel like I just have so much energy and I woke up in a bad mood and did that workout and ended up feeling great. So it is really, really a positive influence in my life, this Peloton bike and working out and doing this challenge. And now let's meditate with some nature. Again, another beautiful day. I hope that you enjoy.
Okay, so we can put our weight down at 178.6, which is a loss of four pounds total. Read the Way of Integrity book. I, oh gosh, you guys, I hit my calorie, I closed the move ring at 1100 calories and my move goal for today was 2900. I am still feeling pretty good though. One gallon of water, definitely did that. Uh, this is a check, this was a regular day and I actually went up to the 2200, like I said I would. Meditated and film and upload this accountability video. Thank you for watching, see you guys tomorrow.